Hey everyone, so by now you know how to play root, but maybe all these animals have you a little bit confused. Well, here are my top five strategy tips, one for each faction and one that's pretty good for just about everybody. Yes, you start with almost the entire board under your control, but that also makes you a target for pretty much every other player, especially the birds. Now you need to know going in that early on you're probably going to be losing a fair amount of territory, and that's okay. In fact, you might want to pull some cats back in the beginning to help protect your buildings, especially your lumber mills, which, considering how you score points, might be the most important pieces for you. So you keep a strong grasp of what you need to hold on to, and then you'll be able to push back when the other players start making moves. Your decree is your key to victory, so prioritize keeping that afloat over almost everything else. I like to place bird cards in build and fight because those are the easiest actions for other players to mess with, and unless your opponents are taking out a lot of your roosts, you don't need to put too many cards into build. Uh, one early on, definitely. Two later, maybe. Three is just asking for turmoil. Now, once you have a good decree, you have to protect it. And as much as it pains me to say it, it's okay to make inefficient moves if it's going to keep your decree going. It's fine. Move back and forth if you need to. Start fights in places you know you can't win. That's all fine if it means you can keep your engine going, because that's what's going to help you win. The Alliance are a very slow burn, but once they get started, they can quickly ramp up. There are two main ways to use this. The first is that the mice hardly seem like a threat early on in the game. Experienced players might see through this, but the fact that they have no pieces on the board and can barely score points at the beginning means that other players might not focus on you until it's too late. So use that to your advantage. The second thing is that while you have to spend supporters to spread sympathy uh, in the beginning of the game, once you have a base out and some warriors and officers, you'll be able to turn those warriors directly into sympathy, and more importantly, points. If you work it right, you can engineer a situation in which you can score a bunch of points in one turn, which is how I won the game that I played with the Murphs on their adventures in board gaming. No big deal. The Vagabond has two clear roads to victory, friendly or fight E. And an easy way to decide which uh, avenue you should take is to look at your character card. And the ability is telling, but what's more important is your starting items. Mainly, if you don't start with any swords, going aggressive is going to be a little bit difficult for you. If you're going friendly, aiding weaker players is often a good idea because you hopefully won't uh, have to worry about giving them what they need to win outright. But like, remember the mice are kind of underdogs, so you know, keep that in mind. Also, try to get coins as soon as possible so you'll get more cards with which to aid the other players. And make sure people know that if uh, they attack you, you're going to start aiding their enemies. You know, friendly. If you're going aggressive, try to get swords and crossbows very early on and pick a fight with one or maybe two factions, but try to stay on the good side of at least one other. And whichever way you go, questing is a great way to score points without helping or hurting any other player. I'm not just talking about crafted items here. Yeah, they get you points, but it's often better for the Vagabond than for you, especially early on in the game. No, I'm talking about every other card you can craft. So it's really easy, especially as the birds and the mice, to only think of these cards as fuel for your abilities, but every faction should keep in mind just how powerful these cards can be when used effectively. Are you getting attacked a lot? Maybe craft sappers, which can give you an extra hit when defending. You might not even need to use it. Just having that card out is a good deterrent. Do you not have enough actions as the mice? Craft Cobbler and gain a free move every turn. And the Favor of cards, which destroy enemy pieces in matching clearings, can be devastating if you can pull it off. Crafted cards aren't the end-all be-all in this game, but they should never be forgotten. And those are my top five strategy tips for Root. If you've got a good strategy that you don't mind sharing, leave it in the comments below. And to all the rules lawyers who are watching this video early, thank you so much for donating. To everybody else, this video went up a month ago, and you've been missing out. So maybe head on over to the Patreon and chip in a few bucks. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.